Hello YouTube West Texas Prepper. I've been having some people <clears throat> send me some messages about my Dutch oven cooking video. Uh, one, one of the best videos that I've put out. Uh, a lot of the footage was lost through to my error. And uh, I'm actually getting ready to uh, start shooting some more Dutch oven cooking videos. Uh, that seems to be a good video that people like. Uh, but I had some people send me some messages recently asking about um, some of my kit that I have for Dutch oven cooking. Now when I made that video I didn't have quite what I do now and I'm still adding to this and um, as, a, as I was out here in the shop over the Christmas holidays getting some things straightened up and I had some family members in town and they wanted to do uh, some Dutch oven cooking so I told them I would do that for them and in getting prepped for that uh, and plus with the messages that I've had about some of the cooking items I figured I would go through and show you what I have as of now in my kit of course you know this is always subject to change as I do this more and get better at it and add to it I know some things I want to want to purchase uh, but first thing we'll start with are um, two charcoal chimneys that I have to get the charcoal going uh, this is real good you don't have to use um, starter fluid for your charcoal you just fill these things up and then down here in the bottom you put some paper or what I've done in the in the video actually use a fire starter cube and put down in there and use this to get your coals going and <clears> the <throat> reason I have two uh, a lot of times even though as you're cooking you have to replenish and make sure that your Dutch ovens are hot and so you have to keep other coals going and so that's why I have two I'll initially get started uh, for what I need to do then fill them back up after that I have uh, about a 15 inch these are galvanized hog feed pans um, they're probably about three and a half inches deep um, I saw these on another video and I can't remember the gentleman's name right off the top of my head I'll go back and look and either annotate that or put it down in the notes uh, that showed this but you put your coals down at the bottom of this Actually, what I'll do, I'll use one to dump my coals that in, and then I can uh, fill up the others and then place coals on the lid as well. But I'll dump my coals in here, and then I can pick those out of there and get my chimneys going again and go from there. I have four of these right now. I'm probably going to pick up two or three more. They're only about 4 to $5 a piece. You can probably find these at some ag supply shop. Here locally, I picked them up at Tractor Supply. I uh, really do like these. I think they make a, a size a little bit bigger than this, but I've, I've been pleased and just sort of had a happy accident with these that I'll show you here in just a minute. As far as my ovens go, I have a 12 Dutch oven. I don't remember exactly what the, the size is. I think it's an 8-quart Dutch oven, uh, but they call it a number 12. And then I have two number 10s. And typically what I'll do is I'll make, uh, make the big meal in here, and I have made um, biscuits in these two. I've also done two cobblers in each of these that have turned out real nice. I've uh, really been pleased with that. Of course, I've done a couple of Mountain Man breakfasts, things like that. Uh, also, this summer, I picked up a large cast iron pan. This is about 12 inches across the bottom, about 15 up at the top. And what the happy accident was this summer when I was cooking, that this will fit nicely inside these pans. And once you get the charcoal down there, it really helps heat these things up and you get a real good uh, even temperature across your pan and, and really good. Um, and some of the recipes, you have to do some meat browning before you start <clears throat> doing anything else. And so that's one of the reasons I bought this is you can do your meat browning in here and you don't, you're not having to transfer a lot of things. Uh, you can keep your meat in here, drain it out of here, and do what you need to do and do that. So really like this pan. sits nice on here. Uh, really easy to cook. You can move it around on the coals, move your coals around, do what you need to do. Also bought a flat iron or uh, a griddle. It's reversible. I have not used it yet. Uh, I probably uh, will over the break and see how I like it. Maybe do some pancakes or something like that, but I uh, haven't had that out of the box yet. Other items that I have in my kit, uh, tongs for moving the hot coals around. have a scrub brush, a nylon brush for cleaning out uh, the ovens, also the pans. A couple of uh, nylon scrapers, 
that you can use. This will fit in the grooves on the skill or the flat pan here, the griddle. You can actually have some grooves on it if you want to do meat or something like that. Uh, of course, I have my lid lifters. I have three different lid lifters here. This is the, the first one that I bought. This is actually a lodge lid lifter. Uh, these are Dutch oven lid lifters. I've got a video on that. I'll link annotate uh, there down in the notes. Got a lid holder. Uh, these are a couple items I got for Christmas last year. I haven't had a chance to use them yet. These are pie irons. Uh, so we're going to try these out sometime and then just some other miscellaneous uh, recipe books and things like that that I keep around. But that's that's my kit so far. I'm probably going to add another 12 and I will probably also add a 14 oven to what I have going on. We're a family of six and so um, you know this will probably feed us but if we're doing some other things and getting together with other families uh, as we do things we'll need some more ability to do some cooking and, and whatnot so i think this will give us give me a good uh balance in what i need to do this was really a, a a good purchase this summer with some of the things i've made being able to cook the meat sausage bacon and things like that in here while i was making some of the other things in the other dutch ovens but just wanted to bring you a little video on my kit leave your comments down below appreciate you watching this is west texas prepper do what you can with what you have where you're at